you everybody who is watching this video. My name is Sir Olenjolai Mokota. Yeah, you're single from beautiful, fantastic, blessed country that United Republic of Tanzania, or in short, just call it Tanzania. It is found in eastern of African continent. So beautiful, uh, even that contains a lot of natural resources. So we welcome even foreigners to come and invest in Tanzania. So I would like to welcome you onto uh, into our online undergraduate <coughs> undergraduate Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania in square bracket all in July M, right? So there square bracket means that should contain M, M meter here, right? Just for unique identification. And even here also there is M. So make sure that you include it when you are searching for it, right? So, <clears throat> you're warmly welcome. We are very happy to have you today in, uh, in online undergraduate in Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania. This is online platforms, online institutions. We don't have a physical institution or Polytechnic institutions, but we are delivering all the resources online because of the developments of technology, especially for the internet. So, our main transmissions and distributions uh, protocol is internet or media. We transmit the information through the space or through the atmosphere and the special that by using uh, internet, right? So that's the concept that they want you to have in your mind. So I would like to remind you uh, that the vision that we have uh, in this uh, Polytechnic Institution or Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania we have a vision, or the visions, or the picture that God has given me when, before even establishing, so for years establishing this uh, online polytechnic institutions of Tanzania. Before I established it, God has given me a vision, and the vision uh, is clear, right? It's a picture that's in my mind. I would like to see that I would like to be a part of teachers who are ready to 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 use their resources use the talents and gifts that we have been given by God to prepare a community of Tanzania, right? <clears throat> Especially those who are ready to take the classroom instructions in mathematics, in computer uh, science or computer programming, in engineering, in, in science, to solve real life problems in their community or in their villages, or in towns, or in countries, right? In our beautiful country, in a certain dorms, in a certain city, in certain regions, in a certain place, in a certain community, in a certain tribe. So we would like to see the community of students who take the classroom instructions to solve real life problems. That the visions we have in our mind. So how will we achieve that? As I say, that will be a part of I can say that I will be just in, or I'm enough to prepare to that community myself. God has placed a number of people there in order to cooperate together and, and build something which is productive, right? So then another, another thing that we would like to remind you, I uh, want to remind you about the problems, first of all, the problem statement that we are solving, <clears throat> and also how are we solving? Well, it happens when I was in uh, my undergraduate studies at the rest of the School of Technology, uh, myself, my colleagues, and even my students that have been teaching themselves after my graduation, during, during my studies and even after my graduations, we were suffering uh, a lot. We are suffering in understanding uh, modules of in taught, uh, modules of of higher engineering and scientific mathematics. So to myself, I thank God that uh, I, uh, it, 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 it wasn't a great uh, challenge, but to my colleagues, really, it was a great challenge. And it has been caused by many factors. First of all, you find that some of the students, they are employee, so they don't get enough time on problem solving, etc., etc. Et but also uh, uh, other causes, it has been caused by the model teachers, sometimes that they are not consistent on teaching, or even sometimes that they used to make assumption that every student is 
uh, is competent, he, he still remember about taught mathematics and, uh, and so forth. So there are many causes, we are not dealing with the causes, we are dealing with the solutions of the problem. How are you going to solve? Good questions. So these problems we will be solving by using, I'll, I'll be teaching, I'll be taking the, con I know the contents first of Caliculus, of all the modules uh, in Caliculus, for example, that of undergraduate in basic and in higher, uh, in higher scientific engineering mathematics. I know those modules, I used to sit down in the presence of the Lord <clears throat> in order to prepare and break those complex ideas and make them simpler and simpler and simpler so that uh, intermediate student, uh, it means an intermediate learner student, uh, slow learner student, it means that he, or oh, just that it is just his moderate learner students, whatever, and he, even faster learner students, they can take the stuff or they can take those concepts equally, and all, and all the groups will understand what they have to cover in order for them to do the year level PhD. But again, that we'll be using different teaching aids, different teaching uh, methods, different teaching uh, techniques, different teaching uh, methodologies. We'll be using different teaching approach on teaching uh, basic, uh, higher, in, higher, higher engineering and scientific mathematics. So it doesn't mean that we are competent on teaching this for undergraduate studies, but it means that this is the one of the prerequisite of fundamental courses in all the levels especially for the first year, second year, and third year for those uh, institutions that in offering four years education, and for some of the institutions uh, actually that they used to learn for the first year and second year. Minimum, it means at least four semesters. So, uh, in these channels, we are teaching students under two according to... So we say that the, uh, in in online undergraduate, uh, undergraduate polytechnic institute of Tanzania, we are teaching undergraduate students uh, worldwide. Every undergraduate student can benefit from the materials that we will offer them, because best because higher uh, engineering, scientific, and mathematics is common worldwide. So this material might be useful in any country or in uh, by any undergraduate students studying in African in any country in Africa, any country in South America, any country in North America, any country in Asia, any country in Europeans, in Europe, any country in, in Australia, right? So, however, that he, our main focus will be by using the, the curriculums of United Republic of Tanzania. It doesn't mean that that's what we know, but we want to narrow our content so that he, they will be focused in, to the certain uh, community of the student, right? So. Uh, in the United Republic of Tanzania, we have two authorities. We have TCU and the NACTE. So the formality of the modules or courses of NACTE is a little bit different from TCU, right? So however, that also even in case of NACTE, different uh, institutions or colleges, they have they names modules in different ways, as I explained uh, in lecture 00 of General Introductions of Caliculus. That's, that's, that should not confuse you. For example, that these models of curriculums that we are teaching, we are using the curriculums of NACTE, right? So any institution that is an NACTE, uh, it means that it, uh, can be this material will be 100% perfect for them, right? So we'll be using the Islamic Institute of Technology as a reference. The name of the modules in the institution might be a little bit different. Caliculus, some of the called Caliculus, they call it Engineering Mathematics 1, they call it just like Engineering Mathematics 2, they call it much variable Caliculus, several variables. So regardless of the names, the issue is just the content, focus on the contents, right? So in case that you want too much detail, so uh, we say that in this, uh, we are teaching almost eight, more, if, uh, no, we are teaching 12 modules in this are uh, online undergraduate polytechnic and we're using three reference universities, two reference universities and one institution, higher institution, higher learning institution. The first higher level institution will be using as a reference is the Islamic Institute of Technology and the first university that will be using as a referential on the four modules is the Islam uh, University of Dar Islam or Udizim and also four modules will be teaching uh, uh, by using the reference of uh, University of Dodoma. So four modules will be teaching by using the reference of University of Dodoma, means for the uh, first undergraduate students and second undergraduate students. 
Four, more, four courses also will be using the curriculums of Dar es Salaam, University of Dar es Salaam, for the first year and second year, engineering and scientific courses, non measures they call it. And then four modules will be using the curriculums of Dar es Salaam Institute of Technology, just for the first year and second year, two semesters. So in total makes 12 modules or 12 courses. So believe me, in those 12 courses, when we'll be covering or be teaching all of them, you will be uh, competent in mathematics. That's the promise that they want to give you. Okay, so okay, that's all. And then, in case that you want to know how you can register yourself or join onto this online platform, make sure that you watch this lecture. Zero zero have provided many instructions on how you can uh, you can just uh, register yourself or you can get connected. But just to give you a quick review, <coughs> a quick review, make sure that you have your email, whether Google email, Miss Gmail or Yahoo, and that's number one. Number two, make sure you subscribe onto our YouTube channels that call the uh, uh, Online Undergraduate Poly Institute of Tanzania. This is the abbreviations of Polytechnic Institute. So it poly is Poly Abbreviation Polytechnic Institute, abbreviation of Institute, right? So like make sure you subscribe and also make sure that you also you click the bell, that are uh, the bell icons that appear and choose all. Then thirdly, we ask you that to share these contents with your colleagues because these contents are worldwide. So anywhere they can be accessible anywhere and they are at any time where the internet connections is available again we ask you to read the descriptions so you can get more information even in descriptions we invite you as the students as the viewer as the mathematicians as the hobbyists as the teacher as the lecturer as a professor as tutorial assistants regardless of your positions you can offer god the sense giving for what he has given you through his contents and then the sense giving number that you can use the an account you can go to the descriptions by clicking the show uh, show 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 more buttons and then afterwards uh, you can use on the I can send on the accounts or you can use the mobile transaction by using this number 0759745331 or plus two five five seven five nine seven five nine seven four five three thirty one and then your sense giving will be received with much thanks and believe me that it will perform and it will make sure that it, it will be a part of running cost for this program so that many lectures of engineering and scientific and mathematics for undergraduate will be in air for the present and future generation, right? So then, so let me take you into our business today. Uh, I would like to start, we say that uh, we are in departments of basic engineering, no, not basic, excuse me, we are in departments of higher engineering. It's not basic, I'm very sorry, higher, here we have higher, engineering and the scientific mathematics, right? And the modules, the course is called the curriculum. The, the year of study, this is uh, for institutions, uh, international institutions, we have something called National Technical Award. That's a uh, long term of NTA level 7A. So this is taught in first semester or the first year, right? And the chapter that I want to teach you today is called the theory of limit. So it's theory of limit. And the lecture, this is lecture one, just the first, the second lecture after lecture zero zero, the general introduction to the theory of limits. That's what I wanted to break down and make you to enjoy the concepts of limit for the rest of your life. Right? Remember that we need serious students. We are very serious with this program. So be serious. Take your exercise book, take your pen, take your pencil, take your scientific calculator like this one. As you explained it, you have to make sure that you have to your textbook, reference textbooks, and even questions and answers. Right? Uh, books, is you have to make sure that you are serious and you are ready to click down and to understand the beauty of these fundamental modules that call the curriculum. Okay, so I would like to do to do the quick review of lecture zero zero. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, we, we introduce to you about, the, uh, we give you the general introduction, right? General introduction of 40 of the institute, of our online institute, which is called the Online Undergraduate Polytechnic Institute of Fort of Tandani. And then we told you that, or we explained to you that how we can do registration. Registration. Registration, right? First of, uh, the first way that you can do registration, just yes, subscribe, right? Subscribe. 
If you subscribe, you'll be notified once we upload any video. We have more than 50, more than, we'll upload more than 50 videos of Calipulas. So you have to make sure that every day we'll be adding a video. So every day we'll be trying our level best to make sure that you add a video. Again, uh, I shared with you or I presented to you the big picture, right, of 40, of mathematics in, in my mind. That always is my, in my mind. Afterward, <coughs> I present to you reference books, right, reference books and materials that you can, you need them to use them when you've been learning about calculus, right? You've been learning about calculus. This is very important. The first reference books that we have two groups, textbooks and the question and answers books. The first reference material that you need in this course or in this module is called the, the course outline. That's what I ask you. So your teacher, so once your teacher comes to your uh, regular classes or just a physical class, ask him or her to give you the course outline so you can know that where are you going and where does this module take you on, into, right? And then uh, we say that in the second ones, I would like just to do a quick review. You should have a book called this crowd, okay, KA of 2003, Advanced Engineering Mathematics, as a reference book, uh, it's fourth edition. Then so you can have also Smith Ara, the team. RT and the RB Mintons 2002, they wrote a book called Multivariable Calipulus. Okay, then the third is DAF or DDG. That book has been written since 1998. It's called Advanced Engineering Mathematics. And also the rest of the reference books, you can have the soft copy or hard copy. You have to make sure that you watch Lecture 00 to get more of the information. And also, I told you that you should have a scientific calculator. And the good thing that, or the good news, in case that you don't have a scientific calculator, you lost it, you left it to your young brothers, then you can order online. Just to go to the descriptions of this video, you'll see that how much does it cost you for function 100, 991, which is original. And then so you can order and you can send you in any institution where you are in the United Republic of Tanzania. Right? Beautiful. Then, again, we presented to you modules. Right? Modules of 40 modules of NTA level 7. It means modules of 40 <coughs> modules are four modules. We present to you more four modules <coughs> of 40 of scientific and the engineering, right? Engineering maths. And just to remind you, the first one we told you calculus, calculus, the one that we are teaching you. The second module is called the Advanced Calculus and the reference of 40 of the 18. However, that nowadays I've developed some other modules, just engineering mathematics. It's just the name, but contents look like the same. Then the third one is called the differential equation and complex variables. And the fourth one is called the that the differential equation complex variables. And the fourth one is called probability and the statistics. So these are the models that we have in our hand. So that's why that we say that we have calculus there. And then so giving you some more information about the beauty of mathematics in the table and so forth. So today, let us go to the, first of all, uh, we mentioned also contents of, of 40, of calculus. And then we say that in, in calculus, we are going to learn seven chapters or seven topics. The first two topics is called the theory of limits which I'm going to teach you today. And then the second one is called the <coughs> Laplace transform. The third one is called the inverse of Laplace transform. The fourth one is, is called the applications of Laplace transform. Uh, the fifth one is called the Fourier series. And then uh, the sixth one is called complex or exponential Fourier series. The seventh one is called the functions of several variables. So you have seven chapters or seven topics in this module, and we're gonna cover them perpendicularly. And we're gonna solve many examples, more than, more than, yes, I, I believe I have more than 100 examples in the entire module, so that you'll be competent enough. But even yourself, you have to make sure that you do the homework that I'm gonna leave for you. So then, uh, uh, let us, let me mention contents now. Contents, I call it the contents or concepts 
10 concepts that we're going to learn in this chapter 1 of 40 theory of limit or in short in some of the institution or some of the books they just call it limit so what are the contents or concepts now according to the course outline right remember that I told you I use the Islam Institute of Technology as a reference institutions and an act and a national technical education but these materials will be useful in Arusha Technical, be useful in Karume Institute of Science and Technology, will be useful at Al Maktoum, okay, at St. Joseph College of Engineering and Science, and, and Science uh, College of Engineering and Science. So this stuff are useful in any engineering and the scientific institution, Bayer University of Science and Technology. So these materials are useful, right? So contents of concepts of of theory of limit. So uh, we're going to cover almost 10 concepts. The first concept which I'm going to teach you today is called introduction, right? Introduction of limit. This is the business of today. Introduction of limit. The second content that I'm going to teach you today is about informal definition. Formal definition <coughs> of limit. Formal definition of limit. <coughs> then the, the concept I uh, will teach about applications. Applications of informal definition. So informal definition of limit or just the introductions of Limits, what the meanings of limits and definition of limit, right? There's, uh, there are two definitions of limit. Applications of 40, informal definition. This will be lecture two, formal definition. Be lecture two, okay? Lecture two and lecture three. So 1.4, <coughs> we're gonna cover about rules, teach about rules of what? Rules of <coughs> limit of a function, rules of limit of a function, okay, of a function, <coughs> then 1.5, we're going to cover about limit at infinity, at infinity, just I called 1 because it's chapter 1, limit of a function at infinity, right, and then Number six, we're going to teach you about the formal definition of limit. We have talked about the informal, formal definition of limit. So this is the direction. This is according to the course outline. Formal definition of 40 of limit. Right? Formal definition of limit. Should you have your, cla your, your manual, your class manual of calculus. Right? Formal definition of limit. And then the Next part, finding the delta, finding delta algebraical, algebraical, right? So algebraically, for given epsilon, for given epsilon, just write like this one. I'm going to tell you what it means of for given epsilon. And then 1.8, I used to teach this model physically for five years. Five years. <coughs> so before I record this video, so continuity, so I know what am I saying. But remember that, the July does not know everything. Conti, discounti, does not know discontinuity, right? Does not know everything about it. Calculus. I just know small portions, but I'm ready to teach that small portion. Continuity and the discontinuity. Right? Continuity and discontinuity. Of 40, continuity and discontinuity of a function of a function. Continuity and discontinuity of a function at a point. At a point. 
because you have two parts at the prince, and also you have 1.9. I'm going to teach you about what? I'm going to teach you about continuity and discontinuity. Say continuity. Continuity and discontinuity. <coughs> Discon discontinuity, right? Discontinuity. Continuity and discontinuity of a function, because you should specify of 40 of a function, right? And then this one, you say that about 30. About an interval, or on an interval. On an interval. On an interval. On an interval. Right? On an interval. And then, then, I will be teaching you how you can solve problems, problem solving, problem solving, which in other institutions they used to have tutorial sheet. But uh, in most of the institutions, they don't have tutorial told your system so or tutors so so you stitch uh, concepts and questions together so problem motive problem solving problem solving of what of theory of limit however that theory of limit okay so this is the picture that where we are heading however that the problem is solving we may, do it, we may do it in every part. So the first one, productions of limit, I will teach you today. Informal definition of limit, okay? <coughs> Possibly I might touch it today. Applications of informal definition of limit, right? Informal definition of 40 of limit, and also rules of limits. I will teach you about rules of limits uh, of a function. Then I will teach about limits at infinity. I will teach about formal definitions of limit. I'll teach about finding delta algebraically for a given epsilon. And I'll teach about continuity and discontinuity, okay, of a function at a point. And I'll teach about continuity and discontinuity of a function on an interval. And I'll teach about problem solving, problem solving uh, of theory of limit, right? So, Listen, uh, in physical classes, even myself, when I've been taught this problem or this course in 2015, right? Almost uh, uh, seven years ago, right? So when I've been taught this uh, topic, the lecturer spent only two sessions, two times, it means two periods to finish it. So the, uh, when it comes to the concept of theory of limit, it's not a long topic in terms of concept. But if we, you begin to solve problems, to solve questions, then you realize that many concepts of theory of limits are hidden in questions more than concepts. So for myself, I'm going to solve almost uh, more than uh, 20, 20, 25 questions in this topic. So I might be spending many sessions or many lectures, lecture hours, I might be even maybe spending, uh, or maybe, uh, yes, I may be spending much time on solving different problems. But remember that it's a complete package. What am I going to give you? It's a collection of all the reference material I told you in lecture 00. So that, don't get confused on what and how you'll be taught this topic in your physical classes. Don't get confused about that, right? Just to release, be free in your mind, and then enjoy the beauty of engineering and scientific mathematics. Okay. However, that this is a supplement. Don't ignore to go to class because of this program. Don't dishonor your teacher because of this respect. It means that yes, dishonor your teacher because of this program. No, honor your teacher. Attend the sessions, and then take this as a supplement stuff. Okay. So be have a good discipline during your. Uh, learning period, right? Because I did also the same. I knew this is tough. Uh, I knew this is tough before even I went to the physical classes. I, 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 could, I, I understood them. 
in advance, but I was going to classes and asking questions and even learning some, uh, some of the concepts that I failed to understand when I was doing uh, my private study in, 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 in prior to the, uh, to the uh, model master or the periods of the sessions at the model master. So now let us go to the first topic or first contents call them contents or concepts or subtopics. So regardless of how you call, you can call them subtopic, right? So regardless of how you call. So let us go to 1.1. I'll be trying my level best to remember that and alert you that where are we right now. So introduction of theory of limit. Right? Theory of limit. The prerequisite of this module, I haven't told you, the prerequisite of this topic of theory of limit is calculus. Is calculus. But not too much details on calculus. Calculus and kind of geometry, little bit about geometry, that's all. That's what you want in this uh, in this topic. I will remind you quickly, but in case you forgot the issue, the concepts of calculus. Also, we have a channel that we are teaching calculus, which is called Tanzania. We have an online school that we call Tanzania Online Advanced Secondary School. So we are teaching in detail. So you can go there to make your revision. Okay? So introductions of short of limit. Before even we define what the meaning of limit, I think that we should begin from that point. How to begin from the point of definition, right? So listen, we have, so you have to, uh, we have to understand two things here. We have definition, we have mathematical definitions of, yes, yes, so we say that in, uh, let us begin with definition of 40. So we say that general definition of limit. General definition of Definition of 40 of limit. And then we'll go to the formal and informal definitions of limit. Okay? Of limit. So this is the fundamental question that we have in our mind. Pause the video, ask yourself this question. What is limit? What is limit? We want to study theory of limit. What is limit? Pause the video a second, think a little bit. We have a definition of limit. In, uh, uh, in, in general, right? But this is, we want to define limiting, the definition of limiting in maths or in mathematics. What is limiting mathematics? That's the question that we have. Can okay? I found two definitions for you, two, two to three definitions for you. So, you can define limit in general, not even mathematical definition, right? right? As limit is the point, right? Limit is the point or value. So a limit is the point or value is either point or what or value. Limit is the point or value. So this is the point or value, right? So limit the point or value which a sequence which a sequence say sequence you know sequence you remember that you learned during your form three yeah? sequence and series and even during your form five okay okay which a sequence which a sequence or a function can be a sequence or a function right or a function or <coughs> it's not a sequence, so it's not a function, or what sum of a series. Or sum of a series. So these are mathematical items that contains limit, right? Or sum of a series can be can be made. Okay, can be made uh, to approach progressively 
to approach progressively, right? Progressively okay? until they are close to it as desired. Until they are close to it. Close to it <coughs> as desired. Till they are close to it as desired. You enjoy the beauty of mathematics? Possibly you might say not because you didn't see what you are, what is troubling your mind. Don't worry, we're gonna get there soon. Until it is already. It is to eat as desired. So this is the first general definitions of limit, not mathematical definitions of limit. We have info, informal defini mathematical definitions of limit and the formal mathematical definition of limit. This is general. So let me explain in brief before I give you the other one, right? Before I give you the second definition. So we say that. We say that limit is a point. First of all, limit is not something else that you might think that maybe it is a question, so it's a function, uh, or it's a formula. No, limit is a point or a value. Set a point or a value, right? With a sequence, number one, or a function, number two, or sum of series, not only series, sum of series, okay? So it means that a sequence this is just explanations, can be made to approach something called the limit, or uh, a function can be made to approach something called the limit, or sum of 40, sum of series, which we write maybe if example as sigma notation approaches to a limit. So that's what you call the approaches are to a limit, it can be are uh, made to approach progressively, right? To approach, mean that to approach, to be closely to it, but not equal to it, progressively, until they are close to it, to it as desired. So the end of approaching is until they are close to it as desired. Okay, so that is one of the origin of the definition. I uh, will give you examples, don't worry about understanding fundamental uh, uh, fundamental plan in this program is we have to make students they restore their love in mathematics and they understand more than how they expect it. So you say that oh in mathematics limit okay so that is general limit is a function Right? Limit is a function. The value, not is a function, excuse me. As we say, in, is a value. A value, so this is the value. Toward, so limit is a value. Toward which an expression, which an expression which an expression conveys conveys right conveys as one or more variable as one or more variables conveys as one or more variables Approach certain value. Approach certain certain values. Okay, approach certain values. Yes, approach certain values. <coughs> so let us let me explain. In mathematics, limit is a value. Two words, which an expression. This is. An expression, for example, algebraic expression, algebraic expression, or whatever, 
converge. So we have something that we call to converge, not diverge. Diverge is just like a, uh, moving away. Converge means like collecting, right? It means approaching. So this is diverge. This is converge, right? Converge as one or more variables, right? Approach what certain values. So what does it mean? So convergence demanding on two things moving from left to right and, and then from right to left. So they approach to it. So this is what we call the element. So that's why that in case of the limit, we have a term that we call approaches to. Okay? So this is the certainty, certainty values. So that's one of the definitions. But again, I want to give you the set general definition because I want you to understand what are we studying. Right? What are we studying? Or oh, we can say that uh, limit Okay, you can say that limit, <coughs> second definition, you can say that limit, enjoy the beauty of mathematics, my beloved student. So you can say that limit, as limit, or we say that, this is according to Wikipedia, say that or in mathematics in mathematics a limit is a value a limit is a value the value that so the value that a function Function, so here we specify approaches because in calculus we are dealing with functions. Okay.